the age of 14 was like the uh, critical year in my musical development. At that time, there was one club in New York called Birdland, which was the place to go in the 1950s. And I used to go down there and hear Miles Davis and the drummer Kenny Clark and Bud Powell and lots of other jazz musicians. Okay, now let's cut to 1973, and my ensemble is in London playing music from Alan Instruments, Voices, and Organ. As Queen Elizabeth Hall, after the concert's over, guy comes up, long hair and lipstick, says, how do you do? I'm Brian Eno. <laughs> It feels great to see people who probably weren't born in 1973, some of them anyway, play this with inside knowledge, understanding what the music is about and how it should be played and how it should be sung. And Sarah laughed to herself saying, now that I have grown old, shall I have my heart's desire? The kind of expression is not that gesture that we associate with romantic music, which I find repulsive. But the nuance of exactly how the player relates to the rest of the ensemble. The loudness with which they play the note. All of these things are just musical constants, and the way your players did it was a kind of complete understanding of the music. Mm -hmm. 